Hello, hello, hello. So, I am just going through a little village called Sell in Yorkshire. Um, so, I've just came from Leeds, hour on the train. I'm going to go here. I'm going to walk towards Malham Cove, um, which is just like a like a limestone cliff. Um, it's about two hours away. So, yeah, hopefully got an excitement coming up for you. Just spoke to a, a nice lady. She showed me the way. And there are supposedly some caves. So, I'm going to... Maybe go off the track a little bit, try and find some caves. So hopefully that's exciting. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Goodbye. And look what we have. Straight away. Little sheepies, let's see how shy they are. Let's see how close I can get. Oh, they're so cute. Go on, catwalk. Go on, catwalk. Go on. They're not shy. Yeah, there's that one. But this is the village I've just came from. There it is. Nice little, nice little village. Plenty of fields, plenty of trees. That's what we like. So yeah, so I'm heading up here. Don't know if I'm going up there somewhere. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully there's more sheeps. I hope I'm not going to overkill on the sheep already, but this one's not shy. Oh, oh, yes he is. He scared me. Anyway, up here we go. Goodbye again. Oh, right, so I'll tell you what. I've only been walking about 20, 25 minutes and dripping in sweat already. I don't know if it's just, uh, like it feels humid, but I don't know if it's just the bag or what. Because it's like maybe about 10, 10 or so kilos. Um, but bloody hell. <laughs> maybe my legs are tired or something. I played football on Monday, but um, just my calves and stuff just seem to like burn up so quick. So I don't know. I'm sure I'll be alright, but hopefully there's not too much. It just makes you feel a bit when your top's like starting to get so come wet. I've only been walking 10 minutes. Um, if I had a look on Google, it says there's quite a few caves around here, but I don't think they're on my route. Um, so I don't really know. I might just have to wait and see. Um, the gates are always different, yeah. Confusing, that's a little one. How does this work? Oh, just a little mini gate. Oop. And fell over. Um, looks sort of like craggy. Over there. God knows. Looks quite nice over there though. Nice hill. Nice hill in the background. Over there. Anyway, I'll carry on. Might have to go for a dip or something at some point. That face is dripping. It's mad. Oh, who knows, eh? Who knows? Hopefully I'll see a cave and that'll be coming up next. I hope. Fingers crossed. Or probably just more sheep. We'll see. So I've just walked like another five minutes or so, but got some quite interesting landscapes. Not as, um, not quite as, um, obviously the hills and stuff aren't as big as the lakes, but... rock um like all the rock up there as well must have been weathered a lot worn away and broken down very interesting mm, 
there's a lot of angry cows about going crazy. There's one up there, if you can see it in the black thing. What I do like though is um, how dramatic it all looks. Um, I don't know what you would call these, like crags maybe? I don't know, I might be, might be wrong, but I'm trying to know an interesting little fact. Um, I'm guessing the reason why most of these, um, why all the rocks are broken, is when it gets cold and the ice gets in between the, the cracks, it freezes, and then the ice expands. Um, and then as the ice expands, it pretty much breaks away at the rock, and then... Um, but obviously on top of that you'll have the wind as well, because I'd imagine it probably gets pretty windy, because uh, it's quite exposed. That's a little fact for you. Um, but imagine the general landscape. Um, it's probably formed through glaciation, where the glaciers retreated through the valleys and then carve out all these um, sort of steep, whatever. I don't know, I should know a bit more really since I do a geography degree, but there you go. A little bit of fun fact for you. Don't know if I'm too happy going after these cows, mind. Seems, sounds like they're going crazy. Um, gonna have to walk past all those cows there. Um, around there. So, anyway, let's fast forward and see if I die. upside down but it doesn't matter I'll be able to flip around. But see that cow over there that cow is an absolute brute it's huge you can see the muscle like bulging out of it it's got muscle everywhere and here we go I'm gonna walk past these let's hope they don't eat me I don't eat meat I promise I'm a veggie I had beef on my Sunday dinner the other day, but don't tell them. Oh, staring me down. Even cows are quite cute. Not as cute as sheep. Because they could crush me if they wanted to. They're pretty fluffy as well. They've got a little afros on the head, look. They're quite cute, aren't you? Aren't you cute? Oh, go on, son. They're planning a secret strategy to surround me. I'm gonna get crushed. Uh, just asked two blokes there if there was any caves. I weren't too sure, but they said if there are any, they're high up, so I might have a little wonder, maybe. I think um, maybe if I get close to um, those bits up there, the craggy bits, I might. Um, might just leave my bag and run up because oh, it'd be lovely without a bag. It looks like there's someone up there, though. I don't know if you can see it. Um, just there, in the middle of the screen. That looks interesting. It looks like I'd have to climb up to it, though. Hmm. Do I give it a look or do I not? Do I or do I not? I'm gonna have to. It's not. I could get up there in a couple of minutes without a bag. Oh, look. Little mini calves. Hello. Hello. You're cute, aren't you? Got nice earrings, haven't they? <laughs> Lovely earrings, designer. Gucci. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Got to be careful with how much I'm filming. Because I've only got like 20 gig. I'm not recording in 4K at the minute, a few of the other clips I have. I'm gonna have to record some of it in 1080. Oh, I don't know why. You know what, I'm gonna have to. I've got ages, I'm gonna try and climb up there, I think. Plus, that cow looks like it's gonna chin me, so. Goodbye.
might be sore, I've just ditched my back. Down there. Climbed up here. It's very, well not very, but it's pretty steep. Um, just spoke to two lovely blokes, Mick and Martin, who are climbing. So I had a chat with them. Um, recommended some places to go after this. Um, I've just found the cave. I've just looked in another one, which I'll probably put on the screen after this. We well, might have already seen it, depending on how I edit it. Um, but we have a cave. Hmm. Wow. It's got a little behind it. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to put a flash on it. I don't have my torch with me. I'm gonna find some creepy people hiding in here, aren't I? Um, I'm gonna have to end it and put my flash on, I think. There we go, hopefully that helps. Uh, smells very muddy, I have to be careful. I haven't got boots on either. Trainers, not the best. I don't know how I'm gonna get back down there, because it was uh, very steep. Uh, it's just grass like, but. I just need to put my hand on that. It's not what I want. Oh, it keeps going on. Yeah, this torch isn't very bright at all. Um, it smells pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, I'll probably just leave it there. I'll do have a little. You know what? I may as well have a little look up here and see if it carries on. Wow, it's like really thin and funneled in. Pretty cool. Well, the adventure's going well. If I get lost, I'm in a cave in Yorkshire. Wow. I have to keep an eye out on it. Touch any more big spiders. Oh. It does go on. It's a shame I don't have my proper torch and you can hardly see mine. Uh, it's not really showing up at all. Maybe I've turned the brightness up. Oh, there we go. Magic. Wow, it's still going on. It's crazy. Oh, another big spider. What the hell did it eat in here? Oh. Wow, carries on. What the hell, man? Now, if you don't subscribe for this, man, I'll be disappointed. Wow. Oh, that's my breath. Misty. There's my breath. Oh, that's just a giant spider. Oh, it's a pipe. Um, I think it carries on, but I don't really want to go any further. Fuck it. We've came this far. We shall carry on. It's not great to do that with one hand in mind. Hmm, a bit creepy. It was that cave that I went in, or the mine, sorry, that I went in in the Lake District. That was, uh, at least I went in with someone. Ooh. Ooh. Water flowing everywhere. Wow, oh, it's cool. I think I'll leave it at that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Anyway, I'm gonna head back out. Imagine if my phone went off. No pipe on oh, no, that's there for. And I'm gonna turn it off so I can use my hands when I come back out. There we go, another little cave. to make it back down there safely to my bag down there you can't really tell but this grass bit's pretty steep so I'm gonna take my time I'll chop and make out alive wow oh, so as you can see it's starting to drizzle it's not sweat it's rain and my friends Martin and where are they I'm 
so confused. I'm trying to find them. Wait, I'll flip the camera around. There they are, up there. There's Martin and Mike climbing. Lovely blocks they are. Lovely blocks. Um, back on the road. That was a long stop, and I can't believe it is. Ooh, I can't believe it's only two o'clock. Uh, that was a bit mad. I, that was a long stop off. I'd intended to be like. Well, I just thought I would run up there, have a little look at that cave up there, which I've probably just showed. Um, that was pretty cool. That was actually really long as well. Um, there was also that cave next to where they are. Um, but coming back down because it's so sl like because it started to drizzle and stuff. Coming back down this scree, like it looks like nothing, but it took me like five minutes just to get over this bit of scree. Um, if I had any common sense, I would have went that way through there but I didn't I went across here um, but you've got to be careful on your ankles and stuff even on the grassy bits because uh, it is quite steep um, so it's quite easy to just slip um, there's some weird noise over there there's another climber up there so I'm guessing what he must be doing is he must be yeah you can probably hear that must be some sort of drill so I'm guessing what he must be doing he must be drilling in new um, metal, uh, I don't know what you would call them, but it was the same where, where they are up there, they were, it was like metal clip things to put your, your harness stuff on, um, so I'm guessing that drilling noise must be some block drilling in some new, some new thing, it's about, it's pretty fun, um, but yeah, I was expecting it to be like four o'clock, half four, um, that was really fun actually, I found that cave, and another thing, like, just chatting to them. Uh, there's another really nice woman who helped us before. Um, I knew where I was going, but she was just telling me where where things were and stuff, and I just had a little chat with her. And I had a really good chat with them. They were really, really canny. Um, but people are just so nice when you when you're outside in places like this. It's mad. When you're in the lakes as well, like everyone says hello and smiles. Mad. Not. Uh, not like in a city where everyone, everyone ignores each other. So, life lesson for you. Like Mike and Martin, say hello, smile, and chat to people. Make a big difference. Anyway, I need to check maps because I don't know where I'm going. Right, hello. Bonjour. I am about two and a half miles. Um, tired actually, pretty hot and sweaty, but there's a nice breeze up here, uh, right around my face. Um, oh, it's a nice lovely spot up here. There's a nice like, little rolling, rolling hills there, looks nice. Just gotta focus. Um, so yeah, I'm about 50, 55 minutes away from Malham. Um, those two blokes who I spoke to recommended something scar. Scar place. Apparently, um, a place where I'm going, Malham Cove, um, which is kind of like a like a cliff sort of thing. I don't know if there's more to it. Um, that and this scar place, they said are like the two best places uh, to see in the uh, Yorkshire Dales, which is where I am now. Um, so yeah, I'm getting a bit hungry, so I might have a little stop off in a couple of minutes, but. Not really too sure where I'm going, but just winging it, if you didn't notice. Um, everything's just pretty much all over the place, so God knows. It's surprisingly tiring on your shoulder, holding the camera up. Shouldn't be, but it is. Anyway, I might stop off and have some chocolate or something somewhere and a drink. That'd be rather nice. So, I hope you're enjoying it so far. Because I have had a good time. Uh, it was nice to bump into those two blocks and have a chat. Um, and the cave was interesting. Um, and I can't believe it's it's probably well, probably just past three o'clock, but I feel like I've been out all day. Whereas I've literally been just got off the train like just over three hours ago, so a bit mad. But uh, there we go. So anyway, we'll get to Malham and see what happens. 
Hello, there we go. I'm guessing that is the town, Malon Town. Um, there you go. I don't know what a town is. It's basically a little mini lake, but it's formed through glaciation. Um, so basically, I'm guessing the great glacier just retreats and then carves out like a like a steep depression in the land, and then and then water fills it. So there you go. I've just had a bit of, got a bit of energy now, I've had a little boost. Just had some chocolate, and some more chocolate. So I've just had some dairy milk. Um, and a mini roll. That roll crushed up, and a bit of Lucozine actually, so I'm probably going to be diabetic by the time I finish. But that's not to worry. It's lovely. Um, and I've got my music on, so that's all good. So, nice little boost. I'm getting a bit tired, but this ground's... Um, a lot easier to walk on, uh, but my feet do feel a little bit battered. Um, I'm a little bit tired, so I don't know how much I'll do today. I might, I might go to Malham, just like the village. I might go to the um, the big rocky place. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. Um, so I might do that. Um, Ooh, I think this is what this bloke mentioned. Or is it? Probably not. Danger. 32 metre fall. Keep the cover close, that is what those blokes were on about. I'll not be going in there. Um, they mentioned uh, it's like a big cave system. A bit, maybe a mine system, I don't know. Uh, it's a massive, massive drop. So yeah, I don't know, I fancy there's a lot of pub in Malham or something, I might treat myself, get cosy, chill out for a bit, because I could do with a bit of rest. Because I think if I push myself too much, um, I'll just end up getting knackered, and then I'll probably just want to go home. So, but I'm not, I'm not too far now, maybe uh, just over a mile or something, so, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I might try and find a little pub or something, have some food, and we'll see. There's more cows, I love cows. My phone's on no battery, so I'm going to have to charge it up, but... Uh, Word of advice, if any of you fancy going for long trips, wild camping or anything, get a get a big portable charger, mine's only 30 quid. Um, and it's supposed to last about four or five charges. Um, now I've been using my phone for recording obviously and in 4K it uses up a lot of space. But um, So if you do have one of those big portable chargers, you could probably use it and it'll last for four or five days really, or a few or more cautious it could last for a week or something so little little tip for you so anyway hopefully i'll be at a pub or something or i'll probably know what i'm doing anyway goodbye more cows there eh? they're all watching us and i think i can see Malon cove right in front looks pretty cool i should get a better view of it in a minute um Stern lock. They've all got nice earrings, haven't they? Flashy coat. Yes, sir, you. You're a flashy, flashy cow. The yellow earrings in it. He's only got the one here. But I think I prefer the two. Oh, he looks a bit more gangster, then, doesn't he? The one, the one earring in. Anyway. Uh, my screen's really dark, so I can't really see, but I'm guessing that is Malam Cove. Looks pretty big from here. So, I should get a closer view in a minute. And here's going to be our first little peek at Malam Cove. There we go. That's quite big. Doesn't look very big on camera. Never does, but it's pretty big. It's pretty cool, and there's all the bloody tourists. Been on me on all day. Now here comes all the tourists. They're all at the top. I thought everyone would have been at the bottom, but I'm guessing there's people look from the bottom and then look from the top as well. 
There's loads of stone walls. Nice countryside views. So I think the plan is I'll go up there, have a little look. Um, try and chuck a few people off so it's a bit quieter. Um, I'm only kidding, I'm not a serial killer. That was a joke. Just in case. Didn't get the sarcasm. Uh, so yeah, I might have a little walk up there. Maybe have a drink, a bit of food. Um, now we shall see. We shall see. That looks pretty impressive. So go and get a close up, eh? to the edge. Have a little look. Not go too close. Not my luck I'll fall off so I'm not going too close. There is the edge. I'll go here. There it is. Beautiful. There's a nice little stream down there. It's quite busy around here, even though it's not a nice day, but it's a great spot. I don't think I trust putting my camera over the edge to show the drop. I'll drop it. But there's um, there's plenty of grass spots. There's plenty up here as well, so could possibly even camp up here. At the top, that'd be nice. If the sky cleared over, there'd be uh, great views of the stars. So we'll wait and see. I'm guessing that's Malamo there, the village. Just over there. Wow, I did not expect it to be this big. Pretty tall. Just a vertical drop, pretty much. A couple of climbers there. With a bit of blue rope. It's a nice little stream down there. Oh, that's gorgeous. But oh, it's absolutely huge. I'm impressed. I think I can see um, more climbing thingies. I can't remember where I saw it, but I'd imagine it must well be a really good spot for climbing up here. Wow. Lovely stuff, eh? This is why we love a good adventure. Right, so I might be in a bit of a dodgy spot. It's basically like a path, um, but it's late and I don't think anyone will be going past, so I think I'll just risk it. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, so I think I'll just set my tent up here. It's on the floor, ready to be set up. I don't know, it's a little bit dodgy. I spoke to some woman before. Oh, I've already said that bit. I've already said the owner who owns this private land doesn't like people. I've already said that. Brain's gone. So yeah, I fancy just getting it set up and maybe reading my book or something. I fancy just chilling out. Uh, I don't know what time I'll be getting up. Who knows? We shall see. But anyway, hopefully I'll have the tent set up.
the exciting bit. And you'll be able to see how very little space there is in this tent. Look. I can't even sit up and I'm small. Anyway, here is my I'm not even on the screen. Tilt it up a little bit. Bang. There we go. Still haven't done it, but there we go. That'll do. Here is the lovely new sleeping bag. It feels nice. I've not uh I've not even opened it yet, so this is the first first time. How exciting. Uh, I've got like crap all over my tent as well. I've got like got all my food here, I've got well shoes are in there. I've got my bag at the bottom, I've got two bottles of water. The thing is, um my bag's only 45 litres. But it is so difficult whenever you want to get anything out or put anything back in. Because whenever you try and put things back in it doesn't fit. Um and Let's see. I can't get the sleeping bag out. This is real difficult. Uh, so I'm not looking forward to tomorrow morning when I have to pack the tent up, roll this up inside somewhere where I don't fit. But it's all down the bottom. It's worth the effort for the fun experience. How the hell am I going to get this back in tomorrow? It doesn't even come out. I'm going to go in. This is going to be difficult. There we go. Uh, yeah, I don't, know what I'm gonna, I don't know whether I'm going to pack things or I'll just sleep with loads of crap everywhere. Hopefully I'll have a little feast soon. Um, there we go. Here is my sleeping bag. Should have a nice warm, cosy night anyway. I'm hoping to get quite a bit of sleep. I don't think I'll wake up too early. Uh, it's not like there'll be a sunrise or anything. Uh, it's cloudy everywhere, so no sunset, no sunrise. Big long sleep. That'll do me nice. Uh, yeah, and I'm gone. What food have I got? I've got nuts. Uh, good for you. Plenty of calories. So if I run out of food, I'll get stranded. Got plenty of calories in there. Uh, got some bagels. Uh, got a smashed up baguette. Got mango in my bag. Some dairy milk, which I did more of than I would have liked. What have I got in here? Ooh. Mashed up banana. That's split open. That'll probably be two million a week. Hopefully not. Uh, oh god. That's a mini roll apparently. I don't think I'll be eating that. I mean, I'll try. Uh, five cookies, they're also pretty mashed up. And, last but not least, a carrot. About eight pence, why not? I've already ate the other one. A carrot, yeah. Don't judge. Don't judge. I don't think I can eat that. I might be a bit buggered for food tomorrow. Got a bag of nuts to last us the day, apparently. So there we go. Pro camping. Right here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to sleep. And then try my food. I'm gonna read my book, maybe. Adios. Mis amigos. Good morning. So it's about half six. Um, I have my alarm set for half six. I was going to go back to sleep for half an hour, which is a bit dodgy, considering the spot I'm in. Um, and then I heard voices. I don't, I don't know where they walked past, I don't know if they even saw me, they must have surely, but they didn't say anything, because I was waiting for them, for one of them to say something, nobody said anything, um, 
But yeah, I can't really stay here any longer. Um, but oh, I just want to go back to bed. I could just lie until like 12 o'clock. Um, feel a bit. feel a bit tired, but I slept pretty well. I must have slept like half 11 until now, so seven hours. But woke up a few times in the night and that was about it. Uh, must have rained a little bit. Um, but yeah. I've unpacked everything out of my bag. So I'm going to have to pack my whole bag. But it's pretty difficult. when You can't even sit up in the tent. Um, so I think I might have to put my shoes on. And then just do it from outside. That's the plan. Um, and then I'll probably start walking towards... Um... That waterfall. Yeah, see what happens. So catch you in a bit. Uh, a nice waterfall. Fingers crossed. So I've ended up going on another little detour. I've um I've left my bag over there somewhere. And I thought this looked quite interesting. So we're gonna have a little peek. <coughs> Um, looks quite interesting. Don't know how much more space I'll have on my phone though. That's the only thing. Takes up, um, takes up a lot of space. Especially in 4K. Um, I might just go up to there, have a little look. And if there's anything interesting, I'll film it. If not, you're just going to have to imagine. So this is what it is. It looks pretty interesting. Very nice. Nice sight. But it looks like there might be a little cave in there. And I don't have my torch again, so I'm not really prepared for seeing caves. <clears throat> might just have a little look here. Don't think we'll go in. Just gotta be careful on these rocks. <clears throat> I'm surprised I haven't fallen over and broken my leg. Not the best in trainers. Ooh. Ooh, that does look quite interesting. Oh, not really actually. Although there's something there. Oh. It's a bit dodgy in it, but do we have a look? Got it. Um yeah, we've got it. There's a big nettle in the way though. Oh wow, there's a rope. Wow. Wow. That's so cool. It's tied around a big boulder. There must be like a big drop or something. Um, I mean, I'll obviously not be going down. Hmm. Do I have a look? Or is that risky? Ah, I'll have a look. I'll have a look. I'll not, um, obviously not be going down. I'll not be climbing down a rope because that'll be a bit, uh, a bit stupid. But we'll have a look. Wow. Well, this is cool. Uh, I'm going to put my flash on two seconds. Uh, doesn't really make any difference. Oh, I wonder if it's like a big drop or if it's just kind of like a bit of a, ooh, bit of a decline. Hmm. Maybe this isn't a good idea. I'll turn my brightness up. Hmm. Oh, it's a bit muddy on the floor. <clears throat> nice look at his bottom. Wow. Ooh, that looks that looks interesting. That looks sketchy, but interesting. Um there's like a you can't really see it, but it's like a wooden plank here. And you can't really see the, the drop, but that does look interesting. I'll not be going down, unfortunately. <clears throat> That's a bit too dangerous for me. Oh, another spider. Right there. Just a spider. Um, wow. I mean, if you had proper equipment and uh, you weren't just wandering, and if you were brave, you could uh, definitely go and 
have a look down there, that'll be really interesting. I must go on for a while. Now we go back to normality. Oh, the sky's out. I should probably go back to my bag, I don't have that much time. But yeah, there we go, another cave. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So here's the rope for that cave. There's a big, um, <clears throat> big boulder there. Must be a... Uh, I don't think the rope will budge with that. That is huge. Big rock. And then that's where it leads. Yum. In there. Down that horrible, scary cave that we will not be going into. And also, just found a bone. A little sheep's bone. I'm guessing. Do I touch it? Is that a bit? That's only a bone, isn't it? stuff going out of it. Interesting. Well, you can stay there, Mr. Sheepy. Poor sheep, eh? We love the sheep. I thought sheep were invincible and they couldn't die. That's just ruined my day. Just kidding. Um, where am I going now? Right, I'm going to go back to my bag and then hopefully um, get to that waterfall because this has been been sidetracked again. Um, ooh, and they're difficult to get down these. Another, um, I should probably put my phone away. I'm going to stop recording. Uh, I'm going to go and get my bag and then I'm going to go to that waterfall. Um, and try not to get distracted again by silly caves. <laughs> I do love spots like these. Um, go on. Just over there, do another nice waterfall, but wow, what a sight. to go to. Hopefully it's not too far but oh, 
I'm so glad I came. I was kind of half thinking I'm not coming, so. Not bad, eh? I've just put a wide angle, um, just put the wide angle on so you can see it all, but wow, it's absolutely insane. Did not expect this. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, I think the plan is I'm going to, I need to leave soon, but I'm going to try and get closer up next to that waterfall, so. Get some close ups. Wow, wow, wow. I did not expect this. This place is absolutely insane. So I've just climbed up the first little waterfall bit. I meant to be a uh, I meant to be ringing my granddad, which is not great. Um, so I've got my signal up here, but I couldn't help myself. I think just have a little peek around the corner, but take a look. Bang, look at that. Wow. That is insane, man. I did not expect this. This is probably one of the best places I've been in this country. Well, or generally. Wow, man. That is insane. This is the view around the corner. Wow. I don't want to go. There you go, there's another little sleek, sneak peek for after go. I'm gonna have to head back to Malham now, I think. Because I'm getting picked up. So thank you very much, Gwendad. Uh, like I said before, I don't didn't quite fancy staying another night, so uh, and they were in Leeds anyway, so very handy. But uh, that's where I just climbed up before, just up there. I really did want to go further, but uh, I needed service so I could um, so I could bring my Gwendad. But uh, unfortunately, I think I might have to go. But well, I'm very glad I came. I was gonna half not bother, but I really did not, did not expect this. Beautiful. So, this is just where I was before. Janet's fast, the little waterfall. It's absolutely packed now. Even. Well, uh, must be here. About half one or something, must be prime time. Um, I didn't catch it on camera, but before on it, um, there was a girl that just went swimming. Uh, managed to put my legs in. Um, half fancy going for a swim, but didn't. Didn't quite manage it, but what a spot, man. It's made my morning better. Oh, look at it, man. It's absolutely wonderful. I don't know what it is about these sorts of spots, but like, where there's just like a gentle stream. Um, not so steep here, but there's like a steep valley before. Um, don't know if it's the angle of the sun or whatever, but it just seems to like glow. And all the, all the leaves on the trees are so like, I don't know, it just creates like such a nice contrast. And then the water's obviously like, so relaxing. Little bird there, can you spy it? Just a little mm, Just by the water. Let's see how close we can get. Oh, there's two. I'm trying not to scare it off. Oh, so cute, man. I can't really see them. A bit small. But yeah, I'm gonna have to head off soon, so this might be it. But oh, I really want to go back to um that gorge. It's absolutely gorgeous. Cause I'd I'd love to climb further. 
like climb all the way through it and see how far you could go, but just when we needed to get back, I couldn't really risk going too far. So I'm sure I'll be back one day. And I'd recommend you come as well. So this is the end. Didn't expect it to be this long. It's been a very, very long one. Hope it wasn't boring. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had fun enjoying the Yorkshire Dales. Uh, some very, very nice sights. Anyway, if you did enjoy it, click the subscribe button down there. Down there, down there. I don't know where it'll be. Down there somewhere. Big red button. Click it. That lets me know you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments which was a good part. And 